Hey everyone, welcome to the first ever episode of the Let's Talk Gaming podcast, LTG for short. Uh, I am your host, Mike. This is my channel, duh. But we have the magnificent, the legendary, the king among men, Izzy McKenzie right here, Twitch streamer extraordinaire. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you, man. Hey, I'm telling you, I get everything, my hopes, my dreams, my goals in life from Mike. I'm just letting you know that now. The whole podcast is just going to be us complimenting each other, but no. no. <laughs> so for our first show, uh, you know, normally we're going to cover news and stuff, like big news if it breaks on this show. Uh, we are actually recording this the day that the Game Awards goes live. So congratulations to Animal Crossing for winning Best Action Game. Very cool. And uh, no, but yeah, normally we'll cover news and stuff, but today we're just going to start off with uh, Izzy and I's top games of 2020. You know, 2020 was, uh, it was certainly a year, but there were a lot of great games that came out. And so we're just going to highlight some of those, some of those we share, some of those we differ, and uh, let's just, you know, kick things off. So uh, Izzy, what is one of your, uh, one of your top games? These are unranked, by the way, for anyone who was curious, if you, if you wanted to keep score. My just... top game. Oh, my bad, my bad, my oh, bad. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Top games. My my top number one game of 2020 is Miles Morales. Mm. Hands mm. down. The swinging like through the city has been heavily improved on. The Venom powers. I'm sorry. That's just that's a game changer right there. The frame rate locked at 60. Or and then on top of that, they put the ray tracing performance on. Mm. That's ray tracing and locked at 60. Mm -hmm. I mean, yo, you can't really get any better than that. The story was dope, and I'm not going to lie, a black Spider-Man game, I mean, I can't really complain <laughs> on that one. I mean, that's everything for me right yeah, then and there. Yeah. And I, I really do, I it took a little bit to get used to, like, the new faces, because Miles' face changed a little bit, and mm -hmm. Peter's changed completely. Mm -hmm. But I really actually like his new face change. It fits a lot better in the game. I and agree, so yeah. it, it was dope. The story, I really really like the story mode it was well paced i'm not mm -hmm. gonna lie it didn't feel like anything was like forced in or like rushed through but it was like even after the story mode you still had like other things to do so mm -hmm. that's i that's crazy for me i, I really enjoyed that yeah it's uh, picking off off some of your points there starting with the facial capture it was i i'm one of those you know you know guys who i like peter's new face more than the original face i know i know people i have strong feelings about that but I, I like the new face but yeah everything you said pretty much i thought uh so uh spider-man miles morales developed by insomniac games for ps4 and ps5 izzy and i both played it on the uh ps5 so that's the version Gosh. obviously we get the ray tracing and the 60 frames uh but yeah i thought from a gameplay perspective i i really liked uh i like this game for the reasons i like the first game but a little bit more so I used to boot up the first game and just web swing. Like every every other day, like if I was just trying to relax, I would just swing around the city and stop random crimes. And I'd be like, this is like relaxing. Just the just the feeling of being able to propel yourself to the streets of New York. And I think Miles has better, like you said, better web swinging. I like the trick system. I like that you can incorporate his venom powers in the web swinging. Um, and then when it comes to combat, I think Miles clearly has better combat than the first game. Which is not a knock so much against the first game that's you know it was it was good, but the inclusion of Miles' venom powers, how stylish he is, uh, his invisibility cloak makes stealth more fun. Uh, I really I really vibe with the game and the story was, I kind of viewed like the first Spider-Man game, it had the whole Sinister Six, you know you fought Kingpin, you fought Shocker, you know you it was like it was like it was like a season of Spider-Man kind of mm -hmm. is what it felt like. And, it, you know, like a season, it dragged at times here and there, you know. I thought it was a really good game. Uh, I think, I thought, until this, that was the best Spider-Man game. I now think Miles is the best uh, Spider-Man game. Miles is way leaner. It cuts out all of the fat. Uh, yeah. All, of, like, the extra stuff. And I think one way that Miles really shines is the side mission design with uh, the, the app he has. The Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man app. Because you have crimes, but you also have activities and those activities are usually centered around Harlem, which is the whole game with like Miles trying to connect with Harlem and stuff. Uh, I think, by the way, I think web swinging at 60 frames a second is uh, incredible. Oh, I think it's incredible. Man. It's buttery smooth. Yeah, that's that's a Mando setting. Honestly, when I swing through the city, 
I put it on 4K. I put it on the TV. And I was like, oh, this is dope. And I put it in 60. I was like, yeah, I'm going to leave it just like this. Because mm -hmm. just the way you just sw swing and zoom in by, you blast yourself in the air and you like freaking blast yourself across the city on top of that and then swing in and web zipping. It it's it's crazy. I, I really, I'm replaying it right now for the new game plus. Mm -hmm. And I, I, once again, just falling back in love with it all over again. It's just, it, I just really appreciate that Spider Man game. Cause you know, Spider Man was going down a very steep hill and the Zomiac was like, yeah, all right. They saved it. Yeah. Zomiac was like, hey, we get this down now. Cause we got Ratchet and Clank, but I guess Activision needs some help with this. Cause I'm yeah. going to fix this right up. The first one, PS4 slap, the PS5 version slap, and Miles definitely took the cake for yes. sure so up next is another game that we both uh played this year and enjoyed we both streamed this game uh, ghost of tsushima from sucker punch productions uh played it on ps4 it's out now on ps5 but uh i think the game is really really great it's nominated for game of the year at the game awards uh i think the best way i, I describe the game is like if you like the old style, the old school style of Assassin's Creed games before they went like full RPG, where it was just focused on one character in a map, and you were like, you know, just basically, you know, Jin's kind of like a superhero. He's like, I'm going to save Tsushima in this case. It's got like all of the stealth. It's got all of like the memorable characters. It's got great action. And the setting is like, you know, for years, everyone's like, give us an Assassin's Creed in feudal Japan. And Ubisoft mm -hmm. was like, no. And Sucker Punch was like, what if we gave you a better Assassin's Creed in Feudal Japan? And they did mm -hmm. that, and it's awesome. I, I really mm -hmm. like Ghost of Tsushima. I think it plays great. I think the story's great. It doesn't do anything that's, like, overtly mind-blowing. Like, when I think of, like, you know, Breath of the Wild or, like, Red Dead 2's world where it's, like, an ecosystem. But it, it does everything that it wants to do, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And I, uh I really like it. I agree. I, it's, I think, honestly, for that game to come out, like, at the end of, like, the PS4, like, generation, it was right next to another game. But that Ghost really did its job. It really came through running smooth. Mm -hmm. I mean, I countered minimal bugs. Like, you know, like, there's not much of anything, like, buggy about it. The combat is super dope. There's not really a lock-on system, but there's a lock-on system, and I really like that because it, it's more fluent. Like, when you're fighting, like, five guys circling you you like deflect one and then slice somebody in half mm -hmm. and the other one and then you go into like that rage mode and you like really guys like all right i'm done playing games i'm cutting you all up today and then like you have different fighting stances you know with the low stance heavy stance high stance mid stance and i'm like this is really really dope and i i really appreciate how much detail they put into the game even though it's not really like you said like a heavy populated like area like mm -hmm. in japan it's just the fact they really fleshed it out like with the trees the grass the water and then like with certain areas like enemy camps you can mm -hmm. invade but certain ones you can't invade because they will light you up i mean they'll keep <laughs> lighting you up until you die i learned the hard way i was like oh i can run over here i can get they, these guys they i'll air juggle you bro they air yeah. juggle you like it's a fighting game and then when you fall to the ground they end up kicking you and keep kicking you oh, i'm like this, this kill me and then guy comes up kicks you one time and then kills you i'm yeah. like this is embarrassing oh, this is God. but in the upgrade system is mm -hmm super dope um and the fact that they added multiplayer mm -hmm. right before they're like i think the ps5 came like right before the ps5 yeah, it was october came out. they dropped it yeah and that was that was super dope i mean i still play it now and i i really do enjoy it on ps5 it runs at lock 60 lock 60 look gorgeous oh my gosh it's butter. like oh it's butter it's so like, yes. so smooth yes i had to Buy an ex, uh, ex uh, we call it an external the the saving storage mm -hmm. so I can download it without no issue, but um uh, yeah I, I really if it wins game of the year I won't be surprised honestly yeah I'd be, I I'd, I'd be I fine be. if it won, won game of the yeah, year I think, I think it's really uh I think it's really a special game it's it's a remarkable achievement that of like a of like a developer who they have a goal they achieve that goal and then they it's like it's like they bake a really good cake and then the sprinkles mm -hmm. on top is like mm -hmm. the multiplayer that they surprised everyone with and the multiplayer yeah. is really good yeah also to add basically like piggyback off what you said um that the story missions that he added to it the co-op story missions like it, it was really it was dope because me and you played it and i was like yo this is you can hide another bush and y'all can like team kill him at the same time i'm like yo this 
this is a good game. Like th I really appreciate like you actually appreciate the consumer, you know, like, mm -hmm. hey, guys, we know we've been in the grind for a little bit. You know, we're not really, ru you know, we're not rushing development through this game for what I know. I, I haven't really dug in too deep with their development, but um, we're going to give you all a good game. And on top of that, give us a little bit more time. We're going to drop a dope multiplayer with mm -hmm. it, too. Ghost is a fantastic game. If anyone's watching this and is not sure if they if they would like it or if it's their type of game, I highly recommend picking it up. Uh, see what you got next on your list. My 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 next game is very controversial. Yeah, okay. it's very problematic. Oh, I I don't know why, uh -huh. but I do know why. Oh, okay, but when you play the game, right. I know why. <laughs> Un understood. I think I know the game you're talking about. Yeah. I think it's on it my is list as well. D, Last of Us Part 2. Mm -hmm. Hands down. Mm -hmm. Not going to lie. I think I told you, Mike, I didn't play the first one. I just watched somebody play the first mm -hmm. one. When I played the second one, I felt that heat. I felt that fear. I mm -hmm. felt that these guys need, like, are these monsters and how the mechanics work. Like, you have a little bit more hidden mechanics. Like, Ellie will play different than Abby. And mm -hmm. then, but like, like Ellie's kind of like a sneak around, like she can plant bombs and stuff. Mm -hmm. And Abby just kind of like, I'm gonna box the mess out of you. I'm mm -hmm. gonna, I'm gonna fold you like an omelet and then Mild put you back spoilers, in the spoilers. But yeah, you do play as Abby. Well, they put out a trailer, so yeah, you do. Yeah, play put, as Abby it, in yeah, the game, yeah, we put but, a whole trailer for Abby. That's yeah. why I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, We're not yeah. gonna tell you how it ends. Yeah, no, no, she no. She turns no, into no. a dragon. Yeah, <laughs> has wings, takes <laughs> off. She's actually a dragon zombie. That's what happens. <laughs> um, but the bosses, I'm not gonna like, the bosses. Yeah. are scary as crap yes. I, it, it's there's one boss mm -hmm. that was lied to by mr mike yes that was supposed to be a nice boss yes it wasn't a nice boss you can check I that cried. out on uh, izzy's twitch he streamed that and it was fantastic too. yeah it was I'm a sight to it, behold if it gets that patch what i'm thinking about for the ps5 because they're really like giving out trailers which i'm cu curious about because this game's yeah, kind of old they'll announce one tonight at the game awards or something I would yeah love I that 60 you give me that 60 last of us too i'm downloading it tonight oh, oh. and also they dropped that uh Ah, uh, that multiplayer. Mm -hmm. I just need right. that multiplayer, honestly, though. That that would be really dope. Like a horde. I think well, the last one it was. Yes, yeah, so it was like four v four. Yeah, the first game like does have multiplayer, and I cannot, I cannot overstate. It would be impossible for me to to hype the first game as multiplayer too much because that's how good it was. Like, but jumping uh, back to the Last of Us Two itself, I think, you know, the game got a lot of hate uh, before it came out, and. You can really tell online who played The Last of Us 2 yes. and like has genuine like criticisms of it and is like, ah, I don't mm -hmm. like this, I don't like that. And who didn't play The Last of Us 2 and is like, ah, oh, mm -hmm. it sucks. Because I'm like, yeah. I don't know how you look at this game and you call it like trash or it's bad or anything. Even if you don't like the story, which I understand is very subjective. Personally, yeah. I was a fan of it. I liked uh, the way it went. I liked uh, pretty much everything that happened in it. I think mm -hmm. from a gameplay perspective, I've never felt so much tension in a game in mm -hmm. the, like like in the like in the last of us stealth encounters when you're walking through these massive open areas uh that naughty dog's been mm -hmm. you know in putting in the last few uncharted games and they they go their biggest in last of us too um when you're slinking through a building and you hear like two people talking and they have like names and you kill one and then they find a body and they're like that's steve or, mm -hmm. you know, and then they find you and just the way the animations feel when you're hitting someone or getting shot at, it's it's just so well done that I'm like, even from, you know, if you don't like the story, from a gameplay perspective, I don't know, like, it's just, it's so good that it makes me, I can't wait for the multiplayer. Like, because mm -hmm. it takes the, uh, the gameplay from the first game and it expands on each part of it in really smart ways. You can go prone now. Uh, you can, you can like get shot. And when you're knocked down, you can shoot and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, this, this is, this is good. The clickers are still freaky. Uh, oh, the noises! Oh my gosh, that was the one thing yeah. that bug bothered. I was like, I need to kill these guys because that all that clicking noises and mm -hmm. crackling in my ear. I was like, oh, bro, I, I nah, you have to die. You have I, to, can't, I, gotta throw I can't them deal with the stalkers. I can't deal with the stalkers. They freak no, me. No, oh, gosh. I think, uh, I think the Last of Us Part Two. It's this remarkable achievement. It's also nominated at the Game Awards for the Game of the Year tonight. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it'll. I think it'll win, in my opinion. Um, I, I think so too, honestly. Yeah, because I think like if you take the game as a whole, right? Mm -hmm. The Last of Us Two is an experience that when you're playing it, 
I've never felt, besides maybe like God of War or Red Dead Redemption 2, that a game, like every aspect of the game kind of pulls you into a mood, if that makes sense. Like when Mm -hmm. you play Red Dead, you're like, I feel like a cowboy. And when you play God of War, you're like, this is my son and I am a god and it's great. But in Last of Us, you're like, ooh, this is depressing and I am a little scared and my palms are sweaty. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And it's like that for like 25 hours. Yes. And it, I, it, in the game, you feel not only the anxiety, but you feel the anger that, like, what I'm not going to spoil it, but if somebody is out there is going to tell you, I'm not going to tell you, but you, you, you will feel that pressure of, like, mm-hmm. I need to get this done and I need to get this done now. No matter yeah. what I got to do, yeah. I need to get this done. And then slowly throughout the game, your feelings start to change. Mm-hmm. You start to see another perspective, how things went down. And, like I'm not gonna go. That's all I'm gonna give because I feel like that's already tapping into too much right there. But <laughs> there's good motivation you, I feel yeah, for yeah. for the reasons that things happen. And I think you know whether you like or dislike those reasons, I feel like the uh, let's let's just say the path that our characters choose I think makes sense for what mm-hmm. happens to them in the story. If you if you like or dislike what happens to them is a different thing. I just think like thing here's the cause. Here's the effect, and I, those made a lot of sense in my in my brain. I think, on a storytelling level, I don't think anyone does facial capture uh, and performances like Naughty Dog. Yeah, um, I, they, they they have been grade A since. Yeah. Um, what what probably was Uncharted, Uncharted? Two, honestly? Huh? I think probably since Uncharted Two, they've had a uh, they've had oh, yeah. facial capture. Oh yeah. Oh. And try to even for the PS3, like to this day, I'm like, that's some graphic. Mm-hmm. The PS, I think Uncharted 3, even on PS3, I, love I was Uncharted like, 3, yeah, they, that, but that game was pushing the PS3, that, like yeah. it, it PS3 was, about to die. <laughs> yeah, it was like, hey, this is the last time you're gonna play this kind of game before, but that, but they have that was hands down, even after a ghost, like mm-hmm. to me, 2020, Last of Us 2 Part 2 has the best graphics. Mm-hmm. Period. The facial, like you said, the, the 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 added dialogue for each enemy, like each enemy knows every, like knows each other. Mm-hmm. Like when they find the body, oh, like you said, oh, it's oh, it's so and so died. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, Tiffany, hey, Tiffany, hello. And they'll go check and like, oh, yo, she's here. And they like run up, and then one thing they have, you, you seen it in the trailer, but the dogs. Oh my god. I felt bad, but like also fuck them dogs. Yeah, uh, I have to bleep that. <laughs> everything, them dogs. Them, mm. them dogs bit me in my neck so many times while hiding in the grass. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, I got him, I got him. And that dog, they will eat, they will eat some bullets. They will eat bullets yeah, to come get you. And then while they're getting you, you kill them. Go ahead, because their 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 little owner behind them is already mad yeah. that you killed their dog. Yeah. So they are gonna make you pay. The AI in the game, I think, is really smart. Like, oh, you know, very. normally in AI, normally in games, like, uh, take take a. Uh, Take even Ghost, for example. I love the stealth in Ghost because of how dumb the AI is. Like, it allows yeah. you to be so creative and have fun. Like, I'm going to kill this guy, like, 10 feet from this other guy, and he's not going to notice. But mm-hmm. in Last of Us, if you are if you get exposed, they'll be like, you go up top. I'm flanking left. You take right. It's like, mm-hmm. wait, what? Y'all got plays? Y'all? And they check, you check everything, too. Like, yeah. you're hiding under a table. They, they'll yeah, look, they look under, too. Look under the table look and at you. you I found you. And you're like, oh, I got nowhere to go. And if you try to throw a bottle over there, all of them will look where the bottle is thrown. And you're they're looking back yeah, at your spot. Yeah. They're, they're not dumb. They will really make your life difficult. And if you end up trying to do stealthy, uh, you're trying to be like stealth mm-hmm. and kill everybody. And if you don't end up killing everybody, they call in their like their friends and stuff. Mm-hmm. And it, it makes life ten like there's one level. I the one level like towards the end in the building where yes. it's like very exposed, and yes. then you end up not killing everybody silently, it becomes a nightmare. Yeah. But it's I, the enemy AIs are what really makes that game really good. Like not yeah. only the humans, like usually zombie games. I'm like, why is there, why have to kill a human? I already got things to worry about. Why are these right. humans are not this one? You are gonna wish you run into some zombies because mm-hmm. them humans make your life difficult yeah, and they I scary too. The humans are harder than the zombies. Like the zombies, like yeah. okay, if I have to defeat you know a clicker or whatever, I'll distract it. I'll stab mm-hmm. it. Hopefully, it doesn't turn around. Uh, yeah. You know, if there's like a bunch of them, you know, you're screwed. But like humans will learn your behavior and adapt to it. Like, yes. hey, we saw her go over here. And like Izzy said, they will check under cars. They will check in hiding spots specifically for you. They'll call mm-hmm. in their dogs. It's like, dang. Oh, and the dogs sniff you out too. Yeah, the do- yeah they follow it, your scent yeah. trail. 
I think really good level design. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people had talked about the level design of Last of Us 2 because, you know, they were upset that stuff happened or whatever. But I think that the way the levels are laid out with, like, you know, you can fit through tight cracks, you can mm -hmm. jump over, you know, vault, you can do all these different things. I really think the structure of the levels from a gameplay perspective allows for really smart, creative, and fun well, not fun, tense engagements. I think I think it's fun, but it's gonna mm. stress you out. But uh yeah. yeah, Last of Us too. I think also what a lot of games don't do well, what Last of Us did was the swimming. Swimming yeah, levels. Yeah. Where like in certain levels you can like if you like prone, you can act like kinda like swim like throughout like if there was one level, like there was like low it's deep enough for you like kinda like prone. Like, I know the level like, there's a building through. you can be in some water to yeah. sneak around like you pop and up, you and, pop you like, up. Yeah. and you end up getting everybody and it's it's really it's really really yes. cool but yeah that, very, um, very cool I think, I think the last of us 2 is a phenomenal game i'm happy mm -hmm. to see it nominated and uh yeah uh is he what is your let me or no you you did last of us too so yeah i think let's see the final the final game for me is going to be uh one that izzy and i are both really fond of and mm -hmm. it is astro's playroom it uh, yes. comes pre-installed on your PS5. It's a pack-in. Think, think something like Wii Sports or whatever it was on the mm -hmm. Wii. But I think Astro's Playroom is an excellent uh, 3D platformer. The game before this was uh, Astro Bot Rescue Mission on the PSVR, which I think is also a phenomenal game. But Astro's Playroom really shows off the controller, uh, the dual sense, and it has really cool levels. Izzy, what do you think of Astro's Playroom? I... When I first picked up the PS5 and I saw Astro's Playroom, I was like, oh, it's going to be like a Super Mario kind of vibe, which kind of is. But like when you play it, that controller is a whole different ball game. The game runs well. The Easter eggs, every single Easter egg you see, you're going to be like, wow, they really remember that game. Mm -hmm. They really given that game some credit. I like that. It's just like some hopes for some uh, a sequel. Gravity Rush Three, um, <laughs> and um, but that controller, Mike, Mister Mike, has a wonderful video on his YouTube channel yes, explaining yes, it yes. in great detail about how that controller feels. Like I cannot do it justice. It that video fake when you describe, the yeah, stuff it that the controller does. I'll say this. I'll say this. I'm gonna say this. This is where the controller really got me. It might be just me, or I might have lost my mind a little bit. But there's a level where the wind is blowing at you, mm -hmm. and I would have sworn. I felt wind hitting me because I was like, where's that? Where's that coming from? Mm -hmm. I might have been crazy. But I felt the wind mm -hmm. blowing at me. And I was like, what? And like sometimes the cans will come out and hit you on top of the head and you feel it on the controller, but like on the side of the controller where it hits you. Yes. Yeah. And I'm, it, mm -hmm. it is crazy. And then like when you're again, Mr. Mike's video on uh, on his YouTube channel where you're running on different like type of terrain yep. you really feel yep. the difference like the, the grass the ice level is not first of all ice levels usually suck in video games astro mm -hmm. has some really fun ice levels which is yes. really hard to do but the sensation of ice skating if you put on ice skates right now and you go on ice wherever you are watching this and you start skating that's what it feels like in your hands when astro does it on screen and I know that sounds insane, but that's because it is insane. <laughs> yes, I. If you did, if you're not playing, if you didn't get a chance to get the PS5, which I'm sorry, soldier, um, but one day you will. Don't pay re the, you know, you will, you will. Just be patient. They'll come if back got, in stock. They'll come back. They'll eventually. come back. Yeah, eventually, eventually. Um, but just be patient. But um, Astros will be. If you don't want to pick up a game, Astro will. How short the game is, you will be going back and playing that game yep. over and over, yep. and you won't get bored of it. You you will not get bored of it. In my opinion, that that for a free game, mm -hmm. you could have sold me that game and I would have bought it. I'm not gonna lie, but the fact it came with the PS5 mm -hmm. and it has all them features, there's there's not one level I don't like. I'm being yeah, very that's honest. That's the crazy but, part. Is like, yeah. you know, there's some levels I like more than others because you know Astro has like unique suits or something he can go into, like a frog suit, a monkey suit, or what have you. I think that all of them are fun. I think like it really is an answer to um, like a like a like a traditional 3D Mario game like 64 or Sunshine or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. I think like the game is full of references like izzy said to playstation history and it kind of feels like sony like celebrating itself but the mm -hmm. playstation is 25 years old at this point and so we all have some type of 
nostalgia memories associated with the you know PS1, 2, 3, 4, PSP Vita, or what have you. And Astro touches on every single one of those. And mm-hmm. if there was ever a franchise that was important to PlayStation, it's represented in Astro's Playroom. Yeah, and on top cool. of all this, it's just a really fun platformer. Like the synth, like it, I think that's really hard that a lot of platformers fail at is like the actual sensation of jumping and like moving. If that feels a little off, no matter how many levels you got or how well they look or something, it's not going to be all that great. But Astro's yeah. platforming is like just right. And yeah, uh, yeah. the controls are tight. Yeah. If you if you fall off, it's going to be your fault because yeah. that game. It's really working with you. It's, you know where it's, he's always gonna land. I think you exactly. Know, There's no like, oh, I might have just landed that. No, no, like, you're gonna land it. If mm-hmm. you're go, if you believe you're gonna land it. Mm-hmm. There's all like the like the the tips and the tricks you can like stun out and like do cool things. Mm-hmm. There's one thing me and Mike do, and we we have a little competition on our on our uh, on our it's, console. He's winning this competition. And I'm not gonna lie, when he started it, it got a little bit too competitive for me. <laughs> I, doing the I got a little too invested. <laughs> Yeah, I got to invest it because they have speed runs and it's dedicated mm-hmm. levels that are restructured to be built like a speed run. Mm-hmm. So you can like beat the level as fast as possible. You can like it puts you in the ranking system. Mm-hmm. Those levels really it's the reason why you'll be playing that game for you'll be coming back and playing those mm-hmm. levels to be number one. I'm not gonna lie. And it's and it's very like it it's awesome. It's just like when you're mm-hmm. running and it and adaptive, like the controller is still doing its thing like it's still yes. being the, the tap the tippity tap tap you hear the the, the uh, water and the sand under your feet you can hear like different like the when you're like boosting you hear like you feel the boost it like when yep. he like loses his laser feet and it's it's really fun but the the speed runs alone is on one thing the levels again are just amazing but it's it's super it's honestly to me, that's that's one of the best games I have played in a long time. And he has yeah. little emotes. He yeah, can like he, he be he make him a little dance. I didn't expect that. I was playing with my girlfriend and she was laughing. I was laughing so hard. He was flossing yeah, and whatnot. Usually after Fortnite, too. he puts on a little PSVR headset or plays with the yeah, or the, or they plays with a Vita or a PSP. Ah, uh, one of them. Uh, what, Maybe one both of them. Of them. Yeah, probably. But they do have they do appreciate all the consoles they drop, all the little accessories yes, or their all previous consoles. Every single Any one of them. Any single piece of hardware that PlayStation ever made is represented in the game. Uh, yes. But yeah, Astro is a great game, great platforming, uh, great references, great music. I think, oh. like, I'd be singing the SSD Speedway song to myself sometimes just because it slaps so hard. And, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, the speed runs are great. Try to beat Izzy's time. It's not possible. This man's too dedicated. But, um, <laughs> yeah. You know, for a packing game, I really didn't think it was going to be on my top games of the year. Because, um, like, you know, people are like, oh, it's a tech demo. I'm like, well, yes, and that it's showing off tech, but it's like a full game. It's and, a uh, game. yeah. Yeah, I, ho- I hope they make a sequel or do something else with it. Because, like, they already have the first game, which I think is the best PSVR game. Now they got this game, and I'm like, man, what's next? From uh, from Team Asobi, as they call themselves. Over in did Sony they make Japan. any other games other than Astro? They did uh, the the original, the Playroom on PS4, mm-hmm. which just showed off if you had the camera and stuff. But uh, then they mm-hmm. got to make their own game, which was Astrobot Rescue Mission on PSVR, uh, which is honestly, I think, uh, one of the one of the best platformers I've ever played because your head is the camera in a 3D platformer. Like oh, this one. I didn't it, get to play that one. I it, I, I, I need it. Cool, what, very cool. The, the VR becomes you know a little it bit cheaper. It has its own speed run levels, and my God, they're they're harder in that game because they're harder to even and, finish. And you're one. looking while doing this. Yes, yeah, like you, you gotta. Uh, you gotta oh no, nah. <laughs> nah, that's right. You start getting sick. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, let's see. So yeah, guys, those are our top games of 2020. Uh, we could have kept going, but uh, I got the game awards to watch and food to eat. And, Ooh, uh, that's I forgot that's coming yep, up too. Yep, yep, yep. We both gotta go ahead and watch that. Uh, I but, better see some Bio Mutant release dates. Oh my god, I forgot about Bio Mutant. What am I, I about Bio Mutant? Hey, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a put a. You know what? Here, unlike um side side some uh, side uh, some shot shots. Unlike um Cyberpunk, um they're actually trying to mash out all the bugs in the game, and um they're down. They had eleven thousand bugs from what I've been reading, and they're down to one thousand. So they're they're right there. So this this game looking clean. Before Legend of Zelda was announced, this game was yes. made. So yeah. Yeah. that's something. I'm just telling you, this game's going to be good. Time. Small team, I think. Yeah, uh, 20 people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you guys are wondering why we didn't put Cyberpunk on the list, it just came out 
We have barely, or I've barely had any time to play it. I played some of it today on stream. I'm playing on uh, a higher end PC, so my experience is pretty good on a technical level. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to hear some horror stories, look up the videos or screenshots of people playing that game on console. If you're watching Twitter. this and want to pick up Cyberpunk and you do not have a PC, I am going to categorically recommend against picking it up. You should treat this game like it's a PC exclusive, and then mm -hmm. next year when the when the actual PS5 and Series X patches come out, then mm -hmm. it'll it'll be acceptable then. But I, I I would highly recommend not spending sixty dollars on this game right now, especially when you could buy something like you know Miles Morales for fifty and have yeah. a have a fantastic time. Yeah, I agree. I but, agree. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much, Izzy, for joining me today. Thank you. This and, is actually my first time being on a podcast, so oh, well, I appreciate welcome, you. Welcome. Yeah. Uh, I'm, you know, I, I want to I wanna have a, video, a podcast up uh, weekly if possible, but uh, as we get to the holidays, that's going to be a little a little difficult. We'll uh, you know, I got, got some errands to run. I got I to gotta drive out of state next, sometime in the next couple of weeks, but uh, I, Izzy and I, I want to have him on again and uh, just to discuss our most anticipated games of next year. You know, this time we look back at 2020. Next time I want to... I want to see what we're looking forward to in 2021. Yes. But thank yes, you all sir. so much for watching. Izzy, thank you. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Make sure you guys follow Izzy on uh, Twitch and on Twitter. Those are now linked on screen and in the description below. Mine are as well over here. And uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you're going to comment and tell yeah, me no. you hate The Last of Us 2, save the comment. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we don't appreciate that kind of hate around here. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Hope you all have a great day. See you, Izzy. Peace.